coping with nightmares. Experiencing nightmares are a normal part of traumatic experiences. They are not a sign of you not coping. They happen because our mind is trying to process the traumatic event. When we work on the traumatic memories, people often find nightmares get less and less. Like flashbacks, nightmares can be caused by being reminded of the traumatic event through similar sights, sounds, smells, tastes or sensations that happen during the day or night. When we awake from a nightmare, we may feel intense fear or like the event is happening again. Our threat system is in overdrive and this can make it really hard to get back to sleep. We want to activate our soothing system to help make us feel safe again. This feeling of safety will make it easier to fall back asleep. This video is going to look at a few ways to help feel safe again after a nightmare. When you wake from a nightmare, tell yourself that you are okay and that the traumatic event is not happening right now. It may be helpful to have this written down by your bed to read. For example, you could say, it is 2020 and I am safe. Put an image by your bed that really reminds you that you are safe and in the present day, not back in the past. It could be a postcard of where you live now if where you live now is different to the past. For example, a London bus. Or photos of friends or family. Or a picture that reminds you of your safe place imagery. Choose any picture that really reminds you you are in the current day and not back in the past. You could also use your scented oil to help you feel safe. You could put this on your pillow so you can smell it when you wake up or keep it by your bed. You could use a stress ball or a comforting blanket as a grounding object to help your body feel safe. Whatever you find is helpful and comforting for you that really tells you that you are safe in 2020 and not back in the past. If you are struggling to get back to sleep, you could get out of bed and do a gentle relaxation exercise like soothing rhythm breathing or use your special safe place imagery. You could read or do a gentle puzzle to keep your mind occupied but with nothing too energetic. If you need to stay in bed then try to make a small change to the environment so it feels different to when you lie in bed to go to sleep. For example, you could prop yourself up on some pillows or put on a soft light. It can be upsetting if you are waking multiple times in the night and experiencing multiple nightmares. In these moments, it is helpful to speak to yourself with a soothing and kind tone, perhaps reminding yourself that this is not a sign of you not coping and that you are doing your very best. Here is a summary of the different tools we have discussed to help cope when we wake from a nightmare. They are here as suggestions for you to try out and adapt to find what works best for you.